Okay, in this video we're going to install uh, Apache Web Server and MySQL Database and uh, WordPress uh, web publishing platform on CentOS. Uh, first thing we need to do is go ahead and SSH into our CentOS machine. Logging in as the user and then using screen in case I get disconnected it'll keep doing whatever tasks I've set it to do without stopping and then I'll go ahead and sue as root sudo oops, su dash type in my user password and I'm root now at this point you should go ahead and take this, some, the time to upgrade your system if you haven't uh, done this already if it's been a while. It's been a while since I've last made my uh, my last CentOS video and so I had to do a, an update on the system and for this you just type yum upgrade and I started with CentOS 5.4 but with the upgrade it makes it uh, now CentOS 5.5 which is the latest version. Now I've already done the update on this but after you do the update, you should go ahead and reboot the system by just typing in reboot. And I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, after you reboot your server, we'll need to SSH back into it. We'll type in the user password. Okay, and then we'll start screen. And sudo su dash to become root. Type in the user password. Now there's two packages we need to install, two package groups that is. So we'll need to type in yum-y group install as one word. And the name of the first group, we need to put the group names in double quotes. The name of the first group is web server with a capital W and a capital S. And the, whoopsie, misspelled it. And the second group is MySQL database and MySQL is all caps except for the Y lowercase and databases with a capital D and the rest is lowercase and we'll hit enter. Now it'll install out of these two groups it'll install uh, about 35 additional packages and uh, we'll just I'll come back uh, as soon as it's done installing uh, those 35 packages. Okay after you reboot your server we'll need to SSH Okay, after the install, we'll need to install one additional package, and we'll go ahead and type in yum y. Here we go. Yum y install php mysql. And this is just the module that enables PHP to talk to MySQL, which we'll need for WordPress. Okay, now that's installed. Now we need to create a couple directories uh, to kind of ease um, the maintenance of our web server. And the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to create, uh, with, with most web servers I set up, I assume we're going to create plenty of virtual hosts and it's not just going to serve a single host. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll create a directory to contain all of the configuration files for the individual virtual hosts. And if you've got a lot of virtual hosts, uh, this is a, a worthwhile step to take. The first thing I'm going to do is I got to create. Uh, I'm going to do. Excuse me. I'm going to type in uh, mkdir-p slash etsy slash http. Whoops. Httpd slash vhosts dot d and hit enter. And then I'm going to edit. I'm going to do this by hand. And this is the only time we'll be editing a config file for Apache. Uh, from here on out, we'll be configuring Apache through Webmin. But I'm going to edit the config file, which is for Apache, which is found under slash etsy slash etc slash httpd slash conf or conf slash httpd.conf. And then I'm just going to hit capital G which will take me to the end of the file well, since I'm using BI 
and I'll type in O. It'll put me in insert mode at the very next line. I'm going to type in include with a capital I space vhosts dot d slash star dot c o n f and uh, hit escape and then shift colon w q to save okay that's done now in case you haven't guessed just yet we're going to put all the individual virtual host files in this directory and each host file will end with a dot c o n f or dot conf at the end of the name so if we wanted to disable a host we could just rename it without the dot conf and Apache won't load it. But now let's go ahead and create our directory for our virtual host that we're going to create. My virtual host is going to be named uh, server9.althusius.net so I do make dir dash p slash srv slash vhosts slash and then I type in the domain which is going to be server9.althusius.net slash htdocs and hit enter okay now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download the um, WordPress software and I get the WordPress software at wordpress.org and we can see that version 3.0 is out download WordPress 3.0 click on that okay and I've got uh, two options you can download the, the zip file or download the tar.gz file I'm gonna download the tar.gz file I'm just gonna right click on this and click on copy shortcut so that way I don't have to FTP this over to my server later. I can just download it right from my server. And I'm going to CD into the new directory I created. Server 9. I'm actually I'm not going to download it into HT docs because that's going to be my document root. I'm going to type in wget and then I'll paste that shortcut and hit enter. And then that'll download the WordPress software on my server. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and unpack that file. I'll do tar space dash xvzf space and the name of the file, which is latest dot tar dot gz and hit enter. Okay, and that unpacks the WordPress software. All right. Now I need all this WordPress software to be in my document root, so I'm going to type in move or MV WordPress slash star and I'm going to move it to my document root which is htdocs and hit enter. Alright, now I'm going to make sure my web server has permissions on my doc root, so I'm going to chown, chown space dash capital R for recursive and I'm going to type in Apache semicolon Apache now this is a Apache is a, a username and a group on the system since I've now installed Apache it, it automatically creates that username and group and that's the username and group the web server will run as when we start it up and I'm just gonna do a recursive CHO on htdocs now Apache has full rights to everything under htdocs. If I do an ls-l there, you'll notice that the ownership points to Apache and group ownership to Apache. Alright, 